Hey everybody, it's Ian from UKEArtsWork.info. This time combining a new story, which is important, and a clarification about 90 and 180 into the U, into the EU, UE, sorry, into the EU, Schengen area. People are still getting confused about this. I was inundated about 10 days ago with people checking in with me, things that we're seeing on Facebook and various other social media groups relating to creatives. It is this, the 90 in 180 day rule for going into Schengen and the same to go into the UK, although it's calculated differently, is that is your allowance for going in for any reason. This is not this does not give you a right to work in either of those areas, either in the UK or the EU. It's different. Your rights to work in each of those territories depends on the territory in question. The UK being unitary, it's pretty much the same throughout the UK. What you need, certificate of sponsorship, permitted paid engagement route, whatever. The same is true going into the Schengen area. The Schengen entry allowance has zero to do with your legal right to work in each of those EU 27 countries. Each of those EU 27 countries has different differing amounts of free time that you as a creative or creative worker can work without the need of a visa. The 90 and 180 day rule has nothing to do with that whatsoever. So please check on the website, you'll see links below, ukeartswork.info for rights to work in the EU, the differences, and the other way around into the UK about working under different ways of getting in legally to work as a creative. Right, now for the news. So we're in April, nearly May 2023, uh, soon to be 2024, whatever. But yet again, the ETIAS system, and the EES system, entry and exit system for the EU has been delayed. It is said that it's likely to have been delayed until after the um, Paris, Paris Olympics. And so we've got quite a way to go, probably next year. The reason this is important is at the moment when you're being checked in and out of the Schengen area, you are checked manually by a border immigration guard, checking your passport, checking the stamps, see whether or not you have overstayed. When the EES, entry and exit system with biometrics, fingerprints, facial recognition, tied to the ETIAS system, which is the pre-authorization system to go into the EU, when all that comes in, this will all be automatic. No more stamps in passports. That's the idea anyway. But of course it means then you at the moment might be lucky if you've overstayed or maybe made a mistake in that way, which I do not encourage at all because it can cause major problems if it's picked up. And of course the UK has its own system coming into play sometime whenever. It's actually started already. That's its own entry system. So at the moment, we have a delay on ETIAS and EES. And those of you that may have seen recently in the UK, the news that current Prime Minister Richie Sunak is trying to find a way to allow uh, Brits to use the EU passport lanes. Well, that's not likely to happen for some time because if they were able to do that and before ETIAS and before EES, that would mean the border guards had no way of checking if people had overstayed. So don't expect anything to happen anytime soon. I hope that's cleared things up, particularly the 90 and 180 day rule into Schengen. There are a lot of British creatives, musicians, uh, some dancers as well. Um, actually, some fashion people were getting confused about this, thinking, hey, I've got 90 days and 180 days to go into Schengen with no requirement at all to do anything or to be aware of the individual Schengen uh, uh, countries' um, um, allowance for free work time. Sorry, actually, it's a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. It's nearly five minutes long, but I hope that's useful to you. Um, there'll be more and more news coming in on this channel on a regular basis and in fact uh, in May 2023 I hope to be able to give some very good news next week on um, Carnets and the Portable Musical Instrument Exemption. Maybe an expansion. 
watch this space. Take care, have a good May, have a good summer, and I'll be back soon. Take care, bye for now.